I said, Carolyn, um, you know, Passover is over, and if you like, we would buy back the chametz, so you don't have to keep it. I, I, I never promised her I would do it. I never said I'm going to buy it so that I'll buy it back. But I said I'll buy it back. And I, she's protected. I mean, she's not buying anything. I mean, it might make cost a lot of money, but you're, you're going to be getting what it's... You're going to be getting your money's worth because of the appraisal. But in the past, she wasn't necessarily... You know, she was amenable to selling it back, and which is what we did. So we never really... The balance due is due several days after Pesach. And by the, to the next morning, when we actually bought it back... Um, so it was became unnecessary to do the, the, the evaluation. So we never actually went ahead with the evaluation, but this is the way the contract is written, and that's what's binding on each of us right now. Okay, the above has been executed in a way that is meant to be effective according to the law of the Torah and the law of the land, and in our mutual understanding, even should this not satisfy our current legal conditions, it still be considered a meaningful sale. So, um, first of all, is everything here clear to you? Okay. So I'm going to ask you now if you would present with me, present to me the money for the for the piano. That would be sixteen dollars. It's not going to be any exact change. Um, and we're going to ask people as well to be witnesses to the transactions. I'm going to ask Rabbi Silver and Rabbi if you will be witnesses for for my stories. And uh, I can't be a witness, but maybe uh, Rabbi Yemens and Rabbi Zev will be witnesses for. Uh, for yours, okay? Okay, so 20. Okay, so you see? Oh, okay, here we go. We even have change. We have change. Thank you. We have change. We're good. Okay? Okay. So by, by giving me this money, this money includes the rental and with of the utensils and of the property. And again, together with the rental, you'll become, you'll become owner of the stuff. It also includes the down payment for all of the chametz, a dollar for each of the, for each of the contracts. It also is a down payment for that. So that's the kesef for the city, and, and so on and so forth. We're also, I'm going to, we're, we're going to also make what's called the kinyan of chalipin which is that by you giving me an item of yours, a value, like your pen, a clean, and me taking that, I give you over the rental of the property, I give you over as well all of the funds by virtue of that transaction. Um, we will conclude as well with it, we will do a Kenyan of Star of the documents, which we're going to sign and, uh, and, uh, and pass around as well. Um, we'll do that now, and then we'll do of it. Uh, it's 
probably ruined it because you haven't used it That's in a year. You probably, it's probably, it's probably ruined. Some people include it. Some people include it. Some people include it because they, uh, yeah, they say they put rolls on it and there could be pieces fell between the tracks. It's hard to imagine that if it's outside for uh, six months that it's really any, I don't know. Maybe somebody made a barbecue and it was in the summer in February for a while. For the it's, uh, some people include it. Some people include it. The meat itself is not huh? Okay, so so here are the documents. And by me handing over, and again, I'm asking everybody to witness respectively the proper, or the Geller and everyone to witness properly this doing it. I'm handing over the documents. By you taking possession of the documents, you become the owner of the Chomets, the renter of the property. All of that will work together. Shtar is a Kenyan. So we did a Kenyan of Shtar. A kinyan of kesef, a contract, ton of money. We did chalipin. We have, the, which is the, the 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 formality of this. We include as well the kinyan agav to, to piggyback on the real estate. We have the kinyan chutzer, which is it's in the courtyard, and we have two left to do. What are the two that we have left to do? One is what's called odisa, which is an acknowledgement, and that means that I publicly acknowledge in front of everybody here that all the chametz which we were empowered to sell is yours and by acknowledging it publicly it becomes yours and the last one is that were you to be a male what would we do? We would do another thing we would do what's called a tkias kaf which is we would do a handshake and a handshake will also find but I'm not going to do that with you right but this should be as if that we did huh? <laughs> we, this should be as if we, 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 we shook on it and we completed the deal. So I thank you very much. Is everything was everything to say there? Okay. And I thank you, Rabbi Geller, Rabbi Hashem. We should do it again, everybody Amen. together. And here, so hey, does anybody have any questions or challenges? I think at this point the priest says, if anybody has any objections. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Come on, take me home. If Carolyn huh? shows five days from now, go into some house of this. Well, I can say, I'm taking this, I'm using it. Absolutely, and that's it's hers. It. And took it all. Yeah. She could, she wouldn't, we would be hard pressed to get any more money from her, right? No, 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 no. You could. Yeah, anything which she takes, we'd have to be able to, we'd have to evaluate. I mean, if she take it, she, if she took it and she ate it, so we'd have to figure uh, so out what the evaluation. I mean, the people will say. No, absolutely. She's entitled to do it. She's welcome to do it, to come to anybody's house and take it. But she would be liable. Of course. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, I want to thank you all very much. Thank you especially. Thank you. And, uh, and uh, tomorrow at 9.15, we'll meet again.